What is up, YouTube? And I'm JT Magnum. Welcome to Niner News. All right, let's get right into it. I want to talk the Titans game. Great game for the 49ers. They played very well on the special teams, defense, and offense. Uh, really not much to hate on for the, for the game other than the defense breaking down late, but I think that was due to some of the starters coming out and just kind of got lax a days ago at the end. I think they need to pick fix that up a little bit because you don't want to start losing games uh, like the Patriots last year. We almost lost that game where they, they started people started coming back at the end. So got to fix that kind of situation, but that's really it I can pull from that. A uh, great game. Uh, once again, Colin Kaepernick, he, he managed the game very well. Frank Gore had an outstanding game running, had a couple touchdowns. Um, still, the wide receivers uh, not getting open. Anquan Bolden, um, that's it. I mean, nobody else seems to be doing the trick. I still think, I don't know if Mario Manningham is the answer. I know it's great to have him back um, and practicing and hopefully getting in the game. But I still think the Niners need to make a move. I mean, we got a guy in Michael James just sitting on the bench, not you know, not utilizing him. Trade him with a second round pick for Josh Gordon. Just make the trade already. <laughs> Josh Gordon's a stud. He's a very good receiver. We could use him. It doesn't hurt to have more weapons than we already have. It doesn't hurt. We already have a host of running backs, like a stable of them. Just why not have a bunch of good wide receivers? Get rid of Marlon Moore. Just cut them already. And and at the end of the year, we're not going to have Bolden probably again. So, you know, to have Michael Crabtree, probably not going to have Manningham. So to have Michael Crabtree and Josh Gordon and Quentin Patton to start next year, plus maybe Kyle Williams still, you know, had the fourth as a fourth wide receiver. You know, that's promising. And I think that that's what they should do. I think that's the that's the that's the, that's the route they should take. Just do it. Do it already. Make the trade. But that's just me. Um, other than that, you know, we play Jacksonville this week. I don't see, um, you know, Jacksonville beating the 49ers. I don't see it happening. I mean, it's, it is the NFL. You never know. But I'll be really pissed if that happens. And it would probably have to be something freakish, like some kind of injuries and stuff like that. Which, by the way, we did come. We did have some injuries in that game. Eric Reed got hurt but still came back in. Uh, Dante Whitner got held out for the rest of the game for a while. A um, little scary there. Um, just seems to be every week somebody goes down and somebody else fills its spot and does well. But, I, you know, moving forward, the Niners have got to get healthy. they got to start filling these spots. Stop leaving defensive starters in for the whole freaking game. You know, plug in other guys and keep people fresh so that when it comes playoff time, if the Niners make it, they can make some noise again. So we'll see what happens there, but I just think that they need to uh, step up their game when it comes to adding, putting players in and, and making some moves to just make sure this team is at the best it can be come playoff time. Because like I said, if we have to go to Seattle, it's not going to happen if we go there with the team we have right now. We need to go there with a different approach and a different and a different um, team. So we'll see what happens there with that. But as for now, um, as for now, um, I don't see them losing. Oh, one thing real quick, Daryl Morris and uh, Osgood. Wow, these two are flying to the ball in special teams. Reminds me of Blake Costanzo and uh, Colin Jones when they were on uh, the 49ers two years back, how they used to just fly, and their special teams unit was really good. This is The special teams for the Niners are very special this year. And, and I don't mean, like, returning-wise. It's more of the other side of the ball where nobody seems to be able to get through. So... Um, very kudos to the special teams for doing very well and for getting or finding those players and, and plugging them into the right spot. So, uh, yeah, that's it. If you guys have any comments, leave it in the comment section. If you guys have any questions for me that you'd like me to answer about the 49ers or opinions that you want me to talk about, just leave them in the comment section below and I'll get to them the best I can. All right? Peace out, guys. JT Magnum signing out. Peace. You guys are good. good. You're a damn yeah. good football team, all right? All right. And you know what? The longer it takes us to figure that out, the better we are. Who's got it better than us? Nobody!